All right, what's up, guys? New video today. We have the finally the N and R uh, the common and rare tournament for the all new Master Duel uh, game. Here we have the ban list finally released. Uh, the ban list is actually quite extensive. I've narrowed it down here because I've I've seen a lot of other YouTubers like scroll through it super slowly like morons. Uh, but this is actually every single banned and limited card. Uh, at least all of the rares and commons that matter. I'm not going to go through all of the super rares because that would be a huge waste of time. But yeah, it's actually quite interesting. Um, not only did they hit every single super rare and ultra rare, but on top of that, they actually have gone through the trouble of actually hitting a lot of the just random rares. Uh, but let's kind of go through with that. Uh, right off the bat, we have generator cards. Uh, some of the, Generator is a very, very strong deck. So obviously... Uh, a lot of the some of the rare at least one of the rares needed to be hit we've got tenyi vishuda a uh, tenyi is another very very strong deck i think this is actually the only tenyi card other than fist of the unrivaled tenyi that actually got hit and to be quite honest with you i think the fist of the unrivaled Ten tenyi was actually more of a phantasm spiral hit so we've got two hits right there for tenyi again not not really that big because they still have the entire lineup of the rest of their cards which is still strong uh this card is banned because it does damage to itself a lot of self otk cards are banned um yeah that's one of them obviously true draco is another very strong deck uh, that needed to be hit to some degree they put this to two i don't think that's that huge uh this is a card that inflicts damage to your opponent uh, they limited a lot of burn cards that burn yourself and burn your opponent i didn't think that that was particularly necessary like uh, especially in the case of this card i mean it's like flip five inflict 500 damage that's how many times you have to do that 20 times in a duel for that to have any impact whatsoever and if if you do that 20 times in a duel you, you sort of deserve to win i mean that's that's a lot of it's a lot of times to do this effect it's it's i don't think this card uh should really be here this should be a three and i don't think anybody would have used it planet pathfinder is another hit for field spell decks uh, again, another hit for Phantasm Spirals because they don't have Terraforming and they don't have Metaverse. So, that I means that just right off the bat, that's like another hit for them. Uh, this burns on Summon. So, again, burning on Summon. Again, this does a 1,000 damage when it's Summoned. So, again, you have to Summon this card eight times for it to actually kill your opponent. I don't think that that's actually good enough to be banned. Uh, we've got Star, Star Scepter, which is a Rank 4 engine. Uh, Knight, a Draco draco lich was another it's it's worm support so this can go into tenyi i would su i suppose so it's limited to two uh, i can always so be used i don't think the generator monster is a rare but i mean if it was it'd be here harmonizing magician pendulums are actually very very strong it's one of the stronger decks in this entire format uh supreme king is already limited so that doesn't count harpoor is already limited that doesn't count uh zolga the prophet is another it's an earth fairy it's like an entire earth fairy and inflicts damage to your opponent uh, but it's a little bit convoluted to actually be able to pull that off so that's not going to work too often uh, morphing jar number two i can't remember if this is actually now limited or it was always limited uh this might be just limited now uh, this is another burn card again this if you roll a six and your opponent rolls anything lower you burn them for six thousand or you can burn yourself but again it's like i they may have over exaggerated with this uh we've got Deskawala, which is like a million times better than the poison mummy and it's limited to one uh, stealth burn uh the idea here is to they put all of these burn cards to one but if you're gonna you can just play all of them and it's almost like it doesn't even matter because you can play like one stealth bird one death desk koala one poison mummy i i think they're over exaggerating how slowed down the game will actually be i don't think that the game will actually be this slow where you can like get a bunch of set burn cards to go off you have really strong decks in this game like like metal foes for example that are just going to rip through these these set set burn decks uh self-destruct ant is another card that's basically it's another burn card uh photon karibo uh you have to pay 2000 life points as you can see maybe this is to prevent that self otk uh nonsense from happening uh Psy reflector the Psy reflector engine is actually really strong in this it's basically essentially fully unlocked the assault mode activate deck uh, you just don't have the best options with the synchros that you can summon because a lot of the good synchros are gone but you do still have option for a variety of uh, certain numbers of synchros so it's like free summons without committing too much 
Uh, some of the megaliths got hit, but luckily not like too, too much. It, it is kind of frustrating. Megaliths aren't a deck that are particularly strong in the regular meta. And it's, it's kind of the thing that I really, um, I really sort of don't like about this. It, there's a lot of cards that actually, a lot of these decks are not good in the regular Yu-Gi-Oh meta. So why are we going through the trouble of hitting decks that would be good in this exclusive metagame? Like it almost doesn't make sense. It's like having an XYZ event and saying you can't play Utopia. It's like it's like why would you, why would you do that? Because there's already such a huge drawback. I don't mind uh, Megalith being at full power. I would love to play against people playing Megalith. I, I don't I don't think that these uh, should be where they are. Brain control again. This is an over exaggeration. I think people will be special summoning monsters. Uh, Perform and pal popper up easy draw card uh moon mirror shield actually that's the same similar situation it's like dude this this is a very high cost draw card even though there's no ash blossom it's like discarding three cards and it has to you know I, I, this is one of the only draw cards in the entire in the entire event that's available so for it to be hit is kind of iffy to me moon mirror shield is an is, is a reasonable one just because there's limited back row removal and moon mirror shield can be really really annoying uh when you have like one mst and you mst and they put the moon mirror shield back on top of their deck and then set up the same loop next turn so i i, I can understand why this card's here uh psychic blade uh, this allows you to pay life points so it's here uh white veil is a card that i don't particularly think that it should be here but I, again it's just like again this damage being taken so i guess it's banned magical meltdown is always at two and you really can't play in the engine uh chain energy is a card that's banned this card is actually like a really 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 strong ban uh, like a really really strong burn card uh where every single time either player would activate anything every single time either player would activate anything they are forced to pay 500 life points first and obviously this is actually a really good burn card i can understand why they hit that uh same thing with dark snake Sy syndrome this is a really really good burn card every uh stamp every standby phase it burns 200 and it just keeps doubling and doubling and it hits both players so it, it fulfills self otk and the other one uh, both of these can fulfill burn and self otk um each time you xyz summon inflict 500 to your opponent again just do the math you have to xyz summon 20 times for that to matter i i don't think this card should be banned again an over exaggeration i don't think anyone would have actually xyz summoned 20 times in, a, in an event where you can only use rares and commons like there's not even enough good xyz's uh so i i definitely don't think this card should even be here uh this is another burn card you tribute a monster burn equal to its attack uh, it, but it has to be a fire monster whatever uh, another burn card yeah they're very heavy on burn cards this is this is actually a good burn card secret blast uh bad luck blast uh this is actually an interesting one fist of the unrivaled tenyi this hits two decks it hits tenyis and it hits phantom spirals uh because all you have to do is control a non-effect monster and you can it's basically like a solemn judgment as long as you control a non-effect monster actually it's not like solemn judgment it negates a monster spell or trap effect it doesn't negate any summons but it's pretty good and it doesn't destroy also has a cool effect where if this card is destroyed while it's face down it can special summon a it can special summon a non-effect monster from your extra deck that can be any non-effect monster so you could special summon like a blue eyes ultimate for example uh, they really really hit phantom spirals i mean phantom spirals uh is has this at one planetary pathfinder at one uh, vishuda at one on top of that it doesn't have terraforming and uh down here it's missing the phantom spiral battle i mean it's miss phantom spiral battles at one and the sea stealth attack is at one they really really hit phantom spirals and none of that stuff is searchable other than phantom spiral battle and that's not recurrable so once you use it you basically lose it forever uh so that's pretty bad reaction to samochi is another burn card a uh, backfire is a burn card every time your fire monster is destroyed inflict 500 again are you going to do that 20 times in a duel probably not um uh, this is another loses life points card uh true draco apocalypse is a really really strong card obviously for true dracos they hit true dracos like moderately moderately well so i don't know how good that deck is going to be exotic pieces are always at one they hit some of the time lords which is cool because time lords are really really strong in this format uh it's essentially a burn deck garbage lord burns you can't have that uh this burns both players uh this burns yourself nurse burn is gone um this is another hit that i don't particularly agree with i don't think that 
they should have hit Magic Specters. Like, in all seriousness, I, I have no plans whatsoever to play Magic Specters. I never did have any plans to play Magic Specters. But I think this is a deck that regularly doesn't see any meta impact. Like, it sees no meta play whatsoever. I think it would be nice to have this deck. Uh, the other thing is this deck relies around Ties of the Brotherhood, which is an ultra rare. You don't have access to it in this. Uh, the only thing that this, like, really strong advantage that this deck actually has is that none of their cards can be destroyed or targeted by card effects, which is really cool. But, like, all of their monsters are really weak except for Magic Spectre Kirin, which is banned. Uh, you literally, if you normal summon a Gemini Elf, you can essentially destroy the entire strategy. They don't have a single monster strong enough to beat over a Gemini Elf. Uh, that's how... That's how kind of like weak in terms of attack these cards are. I wouldn't have minded if they did this NNR event and Magic Specters was the best deck. Because again, they don't have an opportunity to do well anywhere else. Uh, so then we've got Memory Crush. Um, inflict life points, obvious. This on summon inflicts a thousand. If you have to tribute it, inflict... Uh, uh, pay 2,000, inflict 1,000. Again, it's just like a lot of these are really slow cards. And I honestly don't think that they would even have come up. These are extremely slow cards. Uh, then we've got, again, pay 1,000, pay 1,000. But this is actually, I don't even know if this should have been hit. Uh, pay 1,000, but you have to, this helps you out really, really like annoying cards. So this actually would have been decent monster removal. Should have probably left it. Uh, this is another card. Uh, inflict life points. Inflict life points, inflict life points, inflict life points to yourself. Uh, a point of the Red Lotus is just a really good card. Not sure if it's ban worthy, but good card. Uh, pays life points, so I think that might have done something. Pay life points. Uh, this is actually like a real hit. Phantasm Sp Spiral Battle is the card you search off of Pacifist Phantasm City, which is the Phantasm Spiral card is one of the better cards in the entire archetype. And I, I totally understand why it's here. It's one of the, it's just pops from the hand uh, really easy just removal of any kind and there's really no way to get it back so once you use it once it's basically it but you can mix the archetype with like paleozoic i'm sure the archetype will still do well you can just basically play one of everything you play uh some uh, a little bit of the tenyes you play a little bit of the like moon mirror shield uh one fist of the iron rival tenyi one copy of sea stealth attack one copy of this card and you basically can just play the deck with like probably Paleozoics or something. And you could you could probably play the deck just fine. Uh, you can still play Phantom Spirals. It's just going to... A lot of the good cards are actually missing. A Banquet of Millions is another card. I'm not entirely sure why this is banned. I, is, isn't Grand Modular like a super rare? Maybe you guys can tell me. I don't know. Another burn card every time a trap card is activated. Burn a thousand. Really actually a pretty good burn card too. Uh, there's another pay lose 6,000 life points really really strong and the sea stealth attack is a huge hit again to phantom spirals It seems like the decks that they really really hit are phantom spirals two dracos And then everything else kind of got like a little bit of a slap on the wrist Obviously burn is like the main deck that got hit it was phantom spirals and burn are like the two main decks that uh, Really took a beating and I totally understand phantom spirals would have been Without a doubt, probably the best deck in the entire format if they had been able to survive. Uh, but let me know, guys, what you think about this. Uh, if you like this festival, if you like the ban list here, if you would have changed anything if you had the opportunity. And thank you for watching.